Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. <laughs> I've said it 99 times, and I'll say it at least once more. It's Doug. Actually, how you doing, Doug? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you have 99 problems, but Doug ate one. But that's that's good. <laughs> it's, it's true. You're not you're not one of my problems, and I do have more than one problem. Hey, Rowie, nice to see you. Happy hundredth hundredth uh, episode, Doug. Happy 100th episode to you as well, Shane. It's pretty, pretty miraculous. I think it's, uh, we didn't plan for this. I'll say that. No, no, you can almost tell that we didn't plan. For this. Almost, almost. <laughs> With all this. Well, I, I mean, mean, I'm glad that we got so many, uh, so many shows under our belt, so much art, so much fun, so much chatting. Uh, it's been a fantastic go to this point. It's been and a great you run. Know what? Uh, I appreciate you uh, for inviting me to this, to do this with you. Uh, it's been a, a fantastic pleasure. All right, we'll see you next hundred. All right. Thank you for putting up with me for no, thank you. A hundred weeks. Hi, Can Bia, you put it that way? That's crazy. Hey, Bia. Hundred weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it's long. You know, you know what? We couldn't have done it without Bia and Rowie. Yeah, and everyone Rowie. else who shows up. Yeah, all the people. It's been amazing. Staying in your hat, Doug. I uh, I'm a mover. I'm always moving. <laughs> it's always moving. <laughs> you should have got like a one that's like animates around or something. Yeah, I looked for one, but uh, I'm not super smart with that. Here, we'll put it on this person. <laughs> Someone, it'll suit someone at some point. There. Okay. <laughs> it's a parody. A little 100 hat on. On that fella. Right and, there. and that fella. And yeah. Everybody's having a good like time. Move it, move it. Hey, I know. Sabotage, how you doing? 100. Yes. Yes. Hot, Welcome. Hot town. Summer in the city. Back of my neck. Hey, it was snowing two minutes ago, and now it's got this beautiful sunshine, and it's uh, just a little bit of snow everywhere. Can you not hear me? Um, I like to hear you more. Oh, okay. I like the sound of your voice. So what's the plan? What's the plan for a hundred? I like the decorations. I gotta say. Yeah. Found these little Something nuggets. Pretty festive. Yeah. I mean, we could even. How's that feel? Feels pretty good. Is that a little better? Well, too much stroby? What? No, it looks amazing. I didn't realize it was. I thought I was going to do something. Hey, little Ange, nice to see you. You thought you were having an episode. To the hundredth episode. Hey, oh, little Ange, that's. I like it better with a little action there. I don't know what else. Yeah. But, I mean, if you have epilepsy. Flashing. Sorry. Yes, we should have the uh, photo sensitive viewers warning. Happy hundreds! Have. Thank you so much. And again, we couldn't have done it without everybody. So happy to see you here. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. going? What's happening? Don't so tonight, you? yes. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you've been here before, you're gonna see some stuff you've probably seen before because we're gonna do a hundred episodes in review. We're gonna check out some of the old art we've done from the past. Pick out some favorites. Maybe see if it jogs a memory, an emotion, a feeling. I think at some point tonight, for old time's sake, I'd love to uh, play a little game, if, if people are up for that. I think maybe a little little Celebrity Net Worth might be fun. Um, yes. It's always a favorite. And uh, yeah, and then we'll just kind of see how the night goes. See where the night takes us. I mean, really, we could do some art. We could just keep talking about art. Whatever the, the, uh, the flow takes us. Did you have an agenda at all? Great. No, I have no agenda. Uh, my agenda is to have fun. Then welcome. Fun is welcomed. That sounds good. And for a second, when you when you said we're gonna do 100 episodes in review, I thought you were gonna say we're gonna do 100 episodes in reverse. And I'm like, I don't know if I can remember everything that I've said and say it backwards. It's true. It's true. It's, it would be a challenge. Oh, I'm gonna pop this up a little. There. Well, so this is one we did a long time ago. Um, it's the wood on panels when I was doing a lot of that stuff. 
You, had, you definitely had a wooden panel phase. I did, yeah. I like that phase. I actually, surprisingly, it's, I think, some of the better stuff that I've done. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I think um, just kind of playing with the darkened background and putting the figure in, just kind of playing with the layers and the different uh, mediums that I use in it and as well. And I think, like, you know, we can bring it right up and get some detail in there. Try to get the shimmer out for you. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. So much d more detail when you bring it up like this. Yeah, so I think it's kind of good to kind of kind of see that and not just keep Look that Look at the ankles myself. on that guy. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Beautiful ankles. <laughs> so this is one I really liked. Um, so I'll just keep going through. Do you have any fond memories of ones that you liked, Shane? Uh, no, but B is saying uh, wooden panels are great. I like the ASMR that you were providing while drawing on them with some charcoal and stuff. Yeah, that's really, that you know what? A lot of noise. We should probably pull the audio from these and like make uh, ASMR videos. So let me ask you a question about ASMR. Do you get the tinglies? Like, are you prone no. to the ASMRs-ness? No, no, I'm not. No, me neither. Just sounds like, just sounds annoying to me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm like, stop whispering and popping. Yeah. Just, stop just talk to me. That. Or just don't. Just don't. More of the second one. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know if you remember, we got through a phase where I was doing, like, faces and fun little yeah. stuff on wood panels. Uh, and this one's in the slideshow, so obviously it's a, it's a favorite. Um, but I just really like this one because, like, has a tropical vibe like maybe she's down south um her hair and hat don't really make sense but i kind of like that um she has big big eyebrows and big lashes and little wee neck i don't know i just really like the the feeling and the energy in this kind of feels like it's moving a little bit too but yeah i remember in this series there was like one night you did four of them Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of the metallic paints. You're using a lot of metallic paints. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So if I bring this one in, you'll notice some metallic paints kind of on the earrings a bit. I like oh. the hat too. Yeah, it's Very fun. Festive. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And there's just more from that series. So, I mean, like, I really liked these two as well, but I don't need to go into all the depth, but um, I like those guys a lot as well. Well, that's quite a bit of shine on him. There we go. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's looking at you. Does he push his glasses up? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Oh. He wants to see who's checking him out. Hey, who are you? Yeah, look at this bug. And my glasses. And then uh, this older gentleman's just like, he's just out for a stroll and he's like, I'm going to simmer down here against this railing and ha <laughs> hang out for a bit. <laughs> just simmer down on this railing here. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a friend. Maybe I won't. How it's going. So, then, I think we all remember Harold. I love the birds. This guy was fun to work on. I think it's better when they're up close. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you want to zoom them in or if you want to hold them up like that. Either way. I don't know. I think I kind of like to play with the light. Good because you can take, yeah, take the glare off. Yeah. Good old Harold. I like his little feet. Do you know what episode that was? Like, I, I can't even, I wouldn't be able to p pick it, but it was probably pretty early. Like I would. In the 20. I don't know. I don't even know if he's season one or season two. Who knows? <laughs> Woo! Everyone loved him. And this is those birds I was telling you about in New Zealand. Remember we did them? Oh, I yeah. I love this one. That was recently. That was like no. two days ago. This is a long time ago. What? Yeah. Long, long time ago. 
But we were just talking about those birds, right? Right, but then I found this after. Oh, okay. Then you found that. Right. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, lots of color. I love the background color, too. Yeah, he pops pretty good against it, I would yeah. say. So, yeah, I really like that one. I think it turned out well for being a 20 or 30 minute thing. Is that birdie called rainbow? Uh, I don't think so. Like the bird type? No. Uh, sabotage on alabaster might know. Man, we, can't, we, we went through this whole thing. Yeah, then we failed. Something. Yeah. I really like this fella. Oh yeah, me too. He's That's pretty lucid. my favorites from, from, all, uh, from all time. All time favorites? Oh. What? That's the one. Yeah. One of my all time favorites. Super fave. So much going on there, too. Yeah. The depth I... in the eyes, like how far back they feel. It's really cool. Way back here. ASMR. Oh, yeah. Get it out. All the burbs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I liked how this one turned out too. It was kind of um, obscure and exaggerated in some of the features, like the fingers and arms and things. But um, I like the play on light and uh, and just the pose and the weight and the heaviness of it. Yeah, that's really cool. Like that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was like a few months ago. Episode episode two. <laughs> You're just making shit up. I can't, I can't remember. Like, it's funny because I remember the art and I remember like you, you doing it, but I, I can't like place it in time. Any no, I can't, I can't either. To be honest, it's just, it's, it's surprising how much got done in a way. Loving the struggle. Well, it's a hundred episodes. You did at least two pieces an episode, and in it's some fair. cases. In some cases, you did three or four. Like, there is somewhere you were on such a roll. Like, you were getting things done in, like, 20 minutes. But, like, complicated pieces. Well, you know, it's all complicated to me, but... Yeah. Well, you got to remember this, too. You've done some pieces on the show. Sometimes two or three. So, you know, we've produced a lot. This is a... It's nice of you to include me. That's yoga all. fella. He's just having a time. Hanging upside I down. I do that pose. I don't think you can either. Truth well, be told. I don't think I ever could. Even when I was fit. I've never been that fit to do that. No. Um, I like these little series. The washes of color. Kind of subtle. But then like the... Charcoal, Conte, kind of carving out the the figure pose. Yeah. I like that color. Yeah, the colors were fun to work with. But I would say that um, for me, I, I like this one a lot. This is kind of whimsical, you know? A little playful. It's almost like a mermaid without the tail. Or like a woman lying backwards, yeah. Um, oh, you know. Yeah, like that. Call it, call it what you will. <laughs> <laughs> now these are a throwback, but I, I always liked them. They were just kind of a like. I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of those times when I was like frustrated and I was like, ah, just like something wasn't going right, and I'm like, I'm just gonna switch it up and play around because this doesn't feel very planned in terms of like positioning on the paper or the page um they're not overly cohesive to one another either as if they were like a scene together but i don't know i just kind of really enjoyed putting in all these little extra details in their faces I, i'm i'm a little bit like surprised that i don't remember these but i don't remember these I think it was around the time when I was doing like Disco Boy and that. You don't remember Disco Boy? Speaking, 
I do remember Disco Boy. It's one of the faces on the woods. That's right. With the metallic paint. He looks like he's got headphones on. Now, this is the same model that was the one with the exaggerated features. Um, oh, okay. I'm just Isn't doing another post. Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Let me help you out. Can you hold it up correctly? Thank you. It's it, uh, super uh, interesting to play with the muscles and like the, like, remember I said that guy had nice ankles and yeah. this person has nice forearms. Like you can see all the detail in the way that the mus the light plays off the, the muscles and stuff, you know? Perfect. I guess that's, that's what you do as an artist. That's what I do some now and again, yeah. I try to. As someone that's not an artist, it's very difficult. You're an artist. Um, I like this one a lot. I have for since we've done it, and it's just that it's so simple um, and the shapes and whatnot, and kind of reminds me too how much I like to use splatter, and I don't do it all the time, but um, it kind of works here. It makes me think of um, Cool Hand Luke. Yeah, it's gonna change your tire or something. Yeah, and on a motorcycle. Jump over a fence. As you do, it's Thursday. I like this one too. A little Tarzan esque kind of fella. Yeah. Again with the muscles. Well, people have them. And the light. I like this lady. She's just. I just like her feet. She's quite contorted. I like her face and hair. Well, just things to like. Frogman. <laughs> yeah, I can see the frogman in that for sure. Well, since you like muscles so much, you might like this fella. I don't know if you remember him or not. Yeah, see, like, you get all the shadows and lights that play off the muscles that really give you, like, the uh, idea of how the anatomy is. Like, I, you know, I understand that it's one of your um, things that you do really well is the figure art. So that makes sense. But Thanks. Just, just calling it out. You know? mm. I appreciate it because I can't hear anyone else calling me or saying anything. Um... Again, with uh, that same model who had the exaggerated features and the red hair is all bound up and hanging upside down here. So she does a lot of interesting photography and poses and stuff. So she's pretty cool. And then this fella, he's more yoga. Don't know how he does it. I would fall over. I could do that, but I'd need to be laying down in the on, camera on your side. Like from above. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and asleep. Dream. Gosh, I really draw her a lot. There she is again. I like the negative space cool, in between so the arms. She looks so different in, in each one of these. Oh, cool. That's probably because I'm not consistent. And then... Don't remember this there fella. She again. There she is again. Just doing doing something else. <laughs> oh, you, you like this fella. I remember you liking him. Because he's got a pupper. Oh yeah, and his little puppy friend. Yep. He's just out for a stroll. Yeah, that's cool. Now, do you remember when we get into like a fashion phase? Everyone loves the dog. I do remember the fashion phase and the I, um, <clears throat> the punk rock people too. Yeah, like I like her patch. Super cool. Yeah. These I don't like this one. No, I like that one. I don't like this one. Her proportions are ah, her proportions are weird, but I like these two. The the one on the 
the one that you don't like reminds me of Gem and the Holograms, and I would have said that back then too. Yeah, it's truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. And then uh, a little more fashion here. These ones always, I always think like these are outfits that Bjork would wear. Yes. I remember these very well. Mm hmm. So cool. Yeah, they're fun. Ange also says so cool. Nice. Also, everyone was very excited about the doggo. <laughs> Fair. Then, uh,. Yeah, this fellow was just doing stuff, and I drew it. He's leaning back and leaning forward. Yeah, yeah. it's a little, little back and forth. He's leaning, leaning all the ways that you can lean. Just stretching it out, you know? Yeah. This here is definitely from season one. Yeah, that's early, early days. Early I days, remember. yeah. He's just having a time screaming it out it's from australia His name is nathan i always like this one too mm -hmm. she's just like i'm gonna pull my fucking hair out is that that same one or a different no d different yeah this is uh it's like fiona apple kind of thing could be one of her album covers You're absolutely right. <laughs> I like Fiona Apple a lot. You do. Oh, the that's, screaming that's guy screaming kept it. That's yeah, amazing. That's okay, that's good to know. This is good reflection. Yeah, and that was very early days, and it was nice. Super and early. Coming, uh, with, uh, like coming back and back and back so long. I'm probably disappointed for 99 shows since. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, it's got a little fish. King Fisher. Mm hmm. I like that I try to get a little motion in the wings. Yeah. Yeah, that's, what, that's definitely one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. I, I haven't tried to do anything like it since, but I really think that these are the best buns. Good buns. Right? Like, for just being kind of an abstract approach, I, I like them. You wouldn't want to cross those buns. Hot cross buns. <laughs> no, I know. I couldn't think of how to work hot in. I was with you. Yeah, me neither. So I just, <laughs> uh, just said the words. <laughs> and then I was like, other inappropriate things. And I was like, ah. Just let you have that. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Yeah. Um, this one's pretty fresh and new. It might have even been last week, but I still like it. That's and pen, it, right? Pen and pencil? Pen and uh, ink, yeah. And the crazy thing is, like, he's a super talented illustrator. <laughs> Bia says, welcome to Doug Actually, where you get burbs and booties. Yep. <laughs> oh, Little Ange likes that accurate. one. Oh, Little Ange. Actually, that guy is from uh, South Africa. It's funny I've drawn where all you people like to go. Or so global. Rum. Global, global, what? global group. And this was just... Remember, I was just, I think this was another art of frustration. Yes. And I was just I like, believe so. uh, it seems like I get frustrated it's a lot. It's so cool, show. though. It, it feels very futuristic and like you could, this would be another one that would be really good for album cover art. See some Depeche Mode here. Oh, nice. Yeah, I do see some sort of EDM or, uh, no, not EDM. What's the um, synth pop? That's what I mm, Yep. And uh, still a pretty recent one. This was when we had a lot of fun with um, AI as inspiration. It's good. And a revamp of a 20 years later character. But I really liked how this one turned out. 
Do you have the, the newer version too? This is the newer version. Do you have the older version too? Not handy, no. Okay. I wasn't prepared. wasn't perfectly prepared, you know. I mean, you seem pretty prepared to me. But. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, I'm um, here to help. This lady, she's from Vancouver. She poses a lot. She has some really cool content. So, yeah, this was a fun one to work on. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. And hopefully one of yours, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not perfect, but I kind of just like that it was, like, quick and dirty and kind of just... Uh, Playful. Feels perfect to me. Well, thank you. I love you. his eye and his like <laughs> and his thing, and then his plumage at the back, and he looks like he's gonna kick you in the in the throat, you know? Yeah, almost like when a donkey's mad. <laughs> this chicken looks like when a donkey's mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, again, that that pen and ink show that we had, like. We got these fellas doing stuff, lounging around, taking selfies. You I'm know, always lounging on two tables. Big boy, big boy needs two tables. Yeah, two whole tables. Then, um, yeah, remember that I had another show where we were kind of like just playing around with some washes and inks and charcoals and stuff, and these folks were having a time. Yeah, well, how's she going? Maybe a little afternoon What's delight. Up? Yeah. And this one. Sky rockets at night. That's the one. You know it. You know it. Um, I really liked how this one turned out. It was a pleasant surprise for me. I wasn't sure how it was going. And uh, it's all in the eyes, but I really liked how they turned out. I like how um, much is going on, but you still like get a pretty clear vision of it, you know? Mm-hmm. This could be a, a Blondie album cover. Bro, he wants to know where your self-portraits are. There's one right here, buddy. There it's he me. is. Yeah. Look Chubby, at Doug. Chubby Chubs. Yeah, look. And you know what? He loves this little hat. Yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe a little Cameron Diaz. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, this guy was fun. He was kind of quick and dirty, but I do paint a lot of robins. I was going through some stuff earlier, and I was like, there's a lot of robins. Now, there's, there's nothing wrong with finding your muse, Doug. It's true. My muse, Boosh. Um, this is a great one. All time classic. <laughs> Charlie the Pizza Bird. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> yeah. If if those that can't tell, obviously Doug did not draw that. Wonderful. I love it. That's a Shane original right there. It's a pizza burb. What's yeah, Charlie chomping on? Blueberries. That's what it was, blueberries, blueberries yeah. Yeah. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> this one isn't like my best work, but I just, I enjoyed doing it. Oh, yeah. I kind of like playing with like the wash of the color. Oh the yeah, the flower, they, the, the blooms. Mm. What, are, what are they called? Cherry blossoms? That's the words. Yeah. Yeah. Those are hey. Those are hey, Hart, how you doing? It's Mod Appreciation Day. It is? Wow. Well, thank you. Like B. Arthur? I appreciate that. Happy birthday. 
Yeah, it's a hundred hundred episodes today. And again, I'll say it one more time. Probably I'll say it another time after, but couldn't have done it without all you uh, fine folks being here in chat. Keep totally. us honest. And then uh, this was one that actually was on canvas of these chubby chicks. I love the chubby chicks. Oh, yeah. Walking the tightrope. And the other one's like gonna jump on. Oh, goodness. So much ASMR. Asimer. Mm hmm. Asimer. Woohoo! Oh, wow. Thank nice. you, Little Inch. Why is there no. I don't even sound? know what's happening, but I like it. Bits. 100 bits. Drop those bits. Yeah, party bits. I think that's pretty much a lot of what we did that I enjoyed. Um, there's a few extra ones here just for old time's sake, you know, like another Robin. That was early, right? That's early, early, early days. Yeah. So super cool, though. Fat. So fat. I like the highlight on his hip. Mm. This one never got finished. And I don't like it. But no. it's a little kiwi bird. And I thought, well, you know what? We were all here together when we did it. And maybe someday I'll finish it. But he's just he's just a fuzzy little fella. He is pretty fuzzy. A little kiwi. I love mm. it. You know, you're not happy with it, eh? I remember. I think I remember this one, and you kept you kept doing more and more and more and more. Yeah. And yeah. More sometimes. And more. Like, Aren't you sometimes you like just that? need a little more. Yeah. I just got to keep on trucking till it turns out. You know. Isn't that isn't that like a song? I'm moving. Like that's not a song. Like more, more, more. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Isn't it? Uh, I don't. I don't know. But if it's not, we can record it. <laughs> and we'll debut it in three months. Three months. I think time. it's perfect. I think Episode it's... 120. Look out for more, more, more by Doug. Actually, <laughs> I like the give it to me, give it to me though. I like the more, more, more. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. That's not a lot to give it to me. Yes. It's pretty demanding. Like you're, you're riding on a train, you know. <laughs> Ticket to ride. <laughs> um, I believe we did this one on the show. And I do like the fact that we've done so much that I don't know. Um, did we do this on the show? Yes. Okay. I thought so. Stormy, you, stormy, stormy so I day. I remember when you, when you did this and I said, this one sort of, sort of reminds me of the Iceland one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Which you did also do on the show. That's hanging high on a wall right now. Hi. So yeah, I would um, now that we've reviewed a lot, it is a lot actually. So sorry if that was overwhelming, but not really at the same time. No, it's great. It's it's so good to look back on all the on not all, but a smattering of the stuff that you've done on the show. It does really put it's it cool. in perspective how much stuff you did on the show, how much art you produced, and how awesome it is. Thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, that wasn't by far half of it. Um, I was just picking out stuff that I wasn't ashamed of. But I mean, that's the thing. I, I'm not really ashamed of any of it, don't get me wrong. It's just that um, these are the pieces that felt more complete or closer to finish than, than not. Because if you've watched the show, sometimes I don't finish everything I'm starting or it's like a, a phase or a step towards a finished product or it's just like I'm just loosening up so I'm just kind of like mucking about you also did a fair number of commission pieces on the show so mm -hmm. you wouldn't even have those like those wouldn't be around right. anymore that's true yeah yeah I did like the faces the lady swimming underwater Way, way back, I did the butterflies for my mom. Um, 
There was I a grotto. Did... Yeah, that's right. Um, and maybe more. Forget. And more to come, hopefully. Yeah. Definitely. So I would love chat if you could uh, share with us. Oh, Nacho. Nacho, yeah, that was a great one. Uh, totally. And uh, be his puppy. And oh, all the all the Rowy pieces I did. There was like Rowy portrait and nude Rowy. Yeah. They were all shipped over the seas. <laughs> there was dressed Rowy and not dressed Rowy. That's right. Yeah. Rowie at the movies, Rowie getting a coffee, Rowie picking up a snake. All undressed. It's like it's... Oh yeah. Rowie petting a cat. <laughs> it's a pretty good series of Rowie. Rowie working at McDonald's, Rowie The Holiday at House, Derby. yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about the holiday house. That's what yeah. I called the grotto. Oh, okay. I don't know. Sure. I just I make the art. I you, don't you, you, know what a grotto you see is. whatever you see. I just make the art. Well, should let some of these favorites flow into chat before I start shifting things around. Italian grotto is that is that is it Italian? Oh, it's a cave. It's a cave. It's oh, house. depends on who you are. Maybe you live in a grotto. Maybe you do. The way the I prices of the houses grotto. are going. Oh, the gnome. Yep. I didn't bring out the Christmas stuff. Maybe I could have. Um, it's tucked away right now at the moment. But yeah, I almost brought the gnome out. He was pretty fun. Um, Shane's reindeer were great. Um, yeah, there was a lot of good stuff there. I like those specials just because we got to hang out together at, at the studio and I got to learn how to art a little bit. Yeah, no, it's super fun. Like those are the those are great episodes, and uh, yeah, and some of the other ones that were there were like Jack from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And oh, yeah. um, then years ago, I think it was season one, did The Grinch and the Puppy. That's no yeah. longer with me. Um, that one was good. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun and just kind of doing some crazy stuff. I, I found like a big bird one I did, but it wasn't great. But it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, I remember we we're just kind of mucking around and doing something really quick. There's a school boy. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. I don't know where that one is at the moment. It's so, probably... so yeah, you feel like playing a game? Cool. Yeah. Do you guys want to play a celebrity net worth just for old times' sake, or for new times' sake? It doesn't matter what. Don't uh, give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not starting yet. All now, alive. now do it. Okay. If it's one thing we are here, it's professional. Ooh, I gotta drop my board. I love it. Celebrities this way. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Too bad it's not pointing at you. Well, it is actually pointing at you. It's Over like, here. Celebrities this way. Who's Boom, a celebrity? 100. It's Doug, actually. <laughs> so, and I'm changing it up, Shane. I'm, I'm taking control of Celebrity Net Worth tonight. I hope you're okay with okay. that. Okay. You. You, you go right to town and take control of Celebrity Network. Since we have done so many Celebrity Networks, and we've covered yeah. some of the best people, and we have our favorites. And some we of the do. Worst people. Oh, we can't even talk about them. The worst. I feel we should do an all star game. And I know that we've covered these people before because they are some of our favorites. However, 
we're going to do a mix and mash. We're going to do a mashup of Celebrity Net Worth where we're going to take two celebrities, pair them up, and you have to choose what their combined net worth is. Oh, wow. All-star Celebrity Net Worth couples. Mm-hmm. Now. But not necessarily romantic couples. No, they can be whatever couples you want. They could hate each other. They could love each other. They could be indifferent. Right. Ships in the night. Whatever you need. Ships in the night. Crossing paths like ships in the night. <laughs> so, do you want to know who's on tap? Yeah, who's on tap? Who's on tap? Oh, share. Nice. And so Cher is an American singer, actress, and television personality, often referred to in the media as the goddess of pop. Really? And her partner today is a young man. Celebrity net worth is a young man. Oh, no, I don't know who her partner is. I just wanted to introduce all the people. And then I was hoping chat would pair them up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who's is that? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. I, and I don't know. I don't know who's you don't. It's fun. <laughs> so I gotta look them up real quick. <laughs> oh yeah. Pedro Pascal. Nice, Pedro Pascal. He is a uh, Mandalorian. <laughs> Jose Pedro Balamasio Pascal is a Chilean-born American actor. After nearly mm -hmm. two decades of taking small roles, he has been everywhere lately. Everywhere. Wearing and sweaters. Everything. Yeah. And doing very well. Joel. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next. <sighs> All time favorite. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Is it? Big fan. Oh, Dolly. Jolene. 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 Dolly Rebecca Parton is an American singer-songwriter, actress, philanthropist, and businesswoman known primar primarily for her decades-long career in country music. Mm -hmm. Dolly. Want to know who's next? I think I know who's next. Okay. Because I swear if he's not in here. Yeah, he is good. <laughs> it's ER himself. George Clooney. <laughs> George Timothy Clooney. He's an American actor, filmmaker, and heartthrob. That's all you need to know. All, all our people are heartthrobs. Just depends on how old your heart is. He has two Academy Awards, four Golden Globes, British Academy Film Award, and My Heart. That's the biggest award of all. This one, whew. Sass on stems. Oh, Miley. Woo. Miley. Marie. I don't know her middle name. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Uh, her middle name is Ray. Miley Ray Cyrus. Oh, so like your dad. She's an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Her music spans across various styles and genres, including pop, country, rock, hip-hop, R&B, and the love of Doug. One of. And here's the other. Oh, Bradley. William Bradley Pitt, American actor, film producer, and friend of the Clunes. Very tight. Tight, super tight. <laughs> How old is Brad Pitt, do you think? What age is perfection? Um, 50, 59, apparently. There you go. Yeah, he's always older than I think he is. Because um, he's always that much older than me, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, who's pairing up with who, folks? Okay, so I guess... First one to get it in chat, and then it gets it becomes like uh, musical chairs after that. Okay. Miley and Dolly, Miley Pascal Brad, Pascal Clooney and Cher. Brad. Okay, boom. Looks like it's done. Oh, 
Gai, yai, yai. Do you like all this new high tech shit I got? Oh my goodness gracious. Like, there's a sign and a magnets. We're in the 23rd century now. <laughs> We're catching up. Like 2212 with these magnets and little face pictures. Oh, it's like 82. 1982. This is fantastic. Oh my god, those guys look the same from this distance. <laughs> it's kind of weird. They look, they look like they're just a bunch of smooch. Those eyes and Clooney. Smolder. I, I do like the Miley and Dolly pairing. I do too. I'm not sure how I feel and about Clooney and Cher, but I bet they'd be buds. I bet they would be buds. Yeah, Miley's version of Jolene is amazing. Yeah. And then they did it together. Mm-hmm. Those back uh, backyard sessions, they called it, or back... I can't remember what they yeah, called so it. Yeah, so the but... Backyard Sessions was her version that was amazing. And then they did it on stage recently together. Oh, for the New Year's one? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know what the show was. I just remember seeing the... They did. They hosted New Year's this past year. Oh. Well, no, yeah. That must have been it. All right, so. Who we got? Right, we got Dolly Shane. Park and, and, and Miley. Um, so and I'm not going to play because i got to do the math. Okay. So, so Shane so, is out. I'm I'm out. I'd love to guess, but I was never good at the guessing. Dia. Yeah. yeah. Little Ange. Who else is playing? Via Little Ange. We got uh Roe, you in? Roe <laughs> in? What game is this? <laughs> Roe's in. Roe's gonna take his pants off game. Oh, low kill play. He's in. Is this the one where I chug coffee? No, Roey, it's the celebrity one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where I chug, chug coffee. Pascal for 12. Pascal for 12. No, it's not the buying of the celebrity. <laughs> All right. Who else is in? Anybody else in? Let's go. Come on. Uh, also, feel free to join at any time. If, if you think you want to shout out how much they're worth in chat, give it a go. We got sabotage. You can play for free. Yep. We got sabotage. All right. All right. So Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus. Dolly, Rebecca Parton is American singer, songwriter, actress, philanthropist. And we went through this before. Mm -hmm. And she's paired with Miley Cyrus. Combined. Who is, is her matter? goddaughter? Who is her goddaughter? Oh, they are connected. Yeah. Uh, what is their combined net worth? Put it hmm. into chat. The rules are you just guess, and then I tell you what it is. And you don't look it up. That's the other thing. Yeah. Also, if you look it up, it doesn't really work out very well because we have a very specific source. And, Combined uh, net worth, yeah. Yeah, you got to do some addition or just like a guess of the two together. It'd be interesting to, to also predict which p pairing do you think has the most? I can guess which pairing has the least. Yeah. I can't guess the most. My guess is the most is between the, the twos on the edges. Yeah. So, sabotage for one billion. Whoa, that's the first billion I've seen. No, it isn't, because I said Miley was worth a billion a long time ago. Uh, no, it wasn't even her. It was somebody else that was. Like, it was her. Worth... Was it? Yeah. Okay. So Rowie's at five fifty. Is is our very specific source Google? It's not. It's not. Oh, what? Who's Angry Panda choosing? Panda. Angry Panda says three fifty. Uh, Bia La Bia B says eight hundred and fifty. All right. All we're missing is also hello, 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 hello. 
The lands with 375. 375. This is fun. All right, anybody else in chat, feel free to shout out a number. How much is Miley Cyrus and Dolly Parton worth together, combined, all as one person? There's some big numbers here. Big numbers. There's one billion. 650, 850, 375, 550, 1 billion, and 350. The actual answer is 810 million combined. 810 million. Bia so Bia is in. close. Yeah. Woo. And I will say that most of this is Dolly's money. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Which, I mean, Miley's money is nothing to shake a stick at. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Well right, done. Andrew Pascal and Bradley. Bradley Pitt. Combined, what are they worth? What do they make? What do Ooh. they do? I will say that it's going to be a little bit deflated because Pedro Pascal made most of his money in the last two years, right? Mm -hmm. So how quick are these sources to pick up his money? Yeah, I don't know. Sabotage was 230. Panda with 350. It's consistent. Rowie with 450. Little Andrew with 375. Consistent. Uh, Angry Man said, I feel like Dolly gives a lot away. Um, she does absolutely give a lot away, but she's also, if when you have that much money, like you can give away a lot of money and still be pulling in a profit. Bia with the 400, boom. Can't doubt Bia. She's always on. All right. Always on. All right. So that's everybody. What'd you guess, Doug? 260. 260. We got Bia with 400. Little Ange with 375. Rowie with 450. Big money. Highest. Sabotage was 230. Lowest. Yeah. And the angriest panda of them all consistently at 350 million. It's okay. So the actual retail answer mm. is four hundred and thirty million. Rowie. I'm surprised, and I will say that most of this is Brad. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought Pascal Brad. was made like I thought Pascal was worth like ten million. So he's he's not he's not much more than that. He's mm. about twenty, according to this. Okay. Uh, but I imagine like <laughs> next year or the year after, like it's going to be way more, right? Because he's in everything. Yeah. Brad pays a lot for his children. Mm, he's, that's still fair. Got a, he's still got 420 million, so I think he's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like All that right, he's older because I could still, like, it gives me something to, like, strive for. Knowing he's at that age and has that kind of money, I just think, you know, I still have time to, to get there. He's 59 and he has $420 million. I think yeah. he's doing okay. No, I, I hope to be in that similar situation. Oh, I hope you're in that similar situation, too. <laughs> um, probably the best for you, Doug. Likewise. Mm -hmm. So, George and Cher. Yeah, weird weird mashup. I love it. Oh, isn't it? Oh. Uh. That's, a, that's a tough one. I got to tell you, this is a very difficult choice. Sharon is 76. She old. That looks really good. She old. Bia with 950. Is she old? <laughs> Panda with 350 for consistency.
Sabotage is one billion. Very... Wow. I put one point five billion. You did? Yeah. Oh Rowie nine forty nine. I don't think we've ever been over a billion. But this is, uh, to be fair, this is the only time that we have combined. Mm hmm. So. Little Ange, you're going with 375? Oh, 876. Ooh, hearts coming into the game. Eight, Ooh, Harte! Harte! 980, 949, Sabotage 1 billion. And uh, Little Ange is 980. This is a big one. This is a good one. Oh, this is a this is a big one. So everybody's convinced. Everybody but Angry Panda is convinced that that this pairing makes more than Dolly and Miley. Mm hmm Everybody except Angry Panda is convinced of this. And I gotta tell you that the answer is true. They this pairing combined makes more than Miley and Dolly and the celebrity combined celebrity. And, 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 well, here, do they, do, do they make more than all of these four put together? No. Oh. So I'm Gosh, off. 1.5 billion. Plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're still not into the billions. It's 860 million combined. Harte. And I will say, now, now let me ask you this, and I'll ask chat this too. Who is bringing the most to the table in this pair? George. Because it's not, it's not obvious, I don't think. Well, George and his tequila. He sold that for over a billion. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Who did he have to pay? You know? Who was also involved? What? Just uh, Julia Roberts' husband. Did he have? It was just the two of them. What? Julia Roberts has just the two of them. Hmm. There's no other uh, stakeholders in that. Apparently not. Shareholders. Oh. It is George. Five hundred from George, hmm. and uh, three sixty from Share. That's still a lot of money. Nothing to shake a stick at. You're shaking your stick everywhere tonight. And all the money. Tonight, tomorrow, yeah. yesterday, <laughs> and next week. Next week. Well, thank you, everybody, for playing the Celebrity Net Worth, the combined. I love the sign, by the way. You should not get rid of that. Let's keep that around. All right. Thank you for playing Celebrity Net Worth. So good. I love the I love the mashup for the 100 show. How did you guys feel about the mashup? Did it bring an extra level? Did it make it more interesting, make you think a little harder? track i wish i'd used it more often everybody love the combo yes okay this one was recent oh i like since that we're talking about, since we're talking about recent stuff yeah bring that bring that a little closer that would make a really great logo the head would make oh really for like the logo. um like the cincinnati cardinals uh, yeah, or yeah. like anything that needs a logo. You could use a logo. Just be the Shane logo. Hey, if you go, if you want to do a branding of my voice. Yeah, I just squeeze out a bottle of Manuka honey. Oh, it's as smooth as honey. While smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's as smooth as honey with glass in it. Oh. Grassy. Oh, gravel honey. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, let's get a piece of paper out, Doug. No. Nope. Oh. Can I use a canvas? Oh, look at 
this? That's 100. I don't know what I'm doing. Episode canvas. Could be shit. I'm out. I'm out to play. Any uh, recommendations? Uh, why don't we open up the chat? Does anybody have any ideas of what uh, they'd like to see Doug attempt to? I mean, attempt. <laughs> Fair. I don't know what I'm doing, so. Ugh. Oh, the Lerve. Oh, the Community nerve. group picture. Well, Jesus, Bia. No. I love the idea, but I <laughs> don't have okay, enough reference. Squeeze in. Everybody squeeze in. <laughs> if I had more time and more reference, yes, I would. But, uh... <laughs> Everybody squeeze in. Let's get it. Let's get well, it okay, I get what you're saying. It doesn't have to be accurate. Um, fair. Okay. I, oh, see I see what you mean. Like an... <laughs> I was like, everybody's portrait. <laughs> right, you know, I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Some loose stuff to be assessed. I want to, uh, I want to, I want, this is going to be super interactive. So, be it, you're, you're my you're my point of contact here. So what's happening at this party? If we're having a party, I'm going to go get a drink. So you work on this stuff. I'm going to go get a drink. So yep. I'll be, I'm ready to party. Right. Is anyone swinging from a chandelier? Is anyone dancing on a table? What's help me uh, understand the scene of what's happening. Rowie is swinging from the chandelier. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on. We're, we're starting here. I like this. This is great. Rowie's thing. Did you read that? I'm yeah. Taking my shirt off after two spicy waters. Yeah, and he's like swinging from the chandelier. So that's that's my starting point with this whole image. That's amazing. <laughs> well, cheers, everybody. Thank you so much. This is great. Hundredth episode. Little Ange wants to be doing cartwheels. Oh, done. To do that when you had a few? Oh my goodness, I couldn't do a cartwheel if I've had a few drinks. Well, I couldn't do a cartwheel if I was sober. <laughs> Fair. It was one of those things that I never got the hang of. I couldn't do the, uh, I couldn't trust myself enough to put my legs over my head. So I do that cartwheel where you don't do a cartwheel, you just kind of look like you're rolling. You're, you, you know, when somebody doesn't know how to do a cartwheel? and they put mm -hmm. their hands down and then they just kind of lift their legs up a little tiny bit that's what i would do you had a spicy water last night did you roey get your shirt off <laughs> what do they call it in, in australia get 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 your kit off kit off yeah get your kit off all right we started with roey swinging from the chandelier what else we got? We got Bia sitting in the corner with Lilu. All right. Little Ange doing a cartwheel. Hearts having a drink. Okay, let's uh, do a cartwheel. Oh, 
Okay, so Angry Panda's wearing a feather boa. And is in the middle of a cartwheel, and somehow they're also clicking drinks. I don't know about that. It seems like a lot. Okay. I just want to bring up a couple of celebrity birthdays while we're while we're doing this. We talked about Cher and uh, Dolly and uh, Miley. Uh, who would you say is one of the most famous Canadian singers of all time? Oh, um, what's her tits? Um, Celine Dion. That's right. It's her birthday today. Oh, I'm guessing she is. That was my next question. Hmm, 58? I knew you were going to go high. She's only 55. Get out. She looks horrible. I know. I know. Holy shit. I, wasn't, I, wasn't I thought I was being nice. That, but... Wow. It's also Tracy Chapman's birthday today. Just give me one reason. I'll turn right back around. I figured. Tracy Chapman is. 58? I have no one, idea. <laughs> I'll give you one hint. She's older than Celine Dion. Yeah, I'd say she's 62. She's 59. Oh, well, there you go. I haven't seen her in quite some time. You guys went out for coffee last week. Mm, no, that was Tracy Struthers. You're getting all my Tracys mixed up. Oh, your Tracys are all... It's just difficult to figure it out. Well, good for you for trying to keep up, though. All right, we got a gesture of the land doing her cartwheel. Got Rowie. Swinging from the ceiling, just like Lionel Richie. Oh, Whoa. and there's party hats and feather boas. I see. I've missed everywhere. Some, I have absolutely missed some some details. Okay, so um, B is running point on direction here, but I need you to run the messaging. I need you to be the, the mailman. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, what's next? There was something. Uh, B is in a corner with her puppers. Okay. They're wearing sit party hats. Okay, just sitting, chilling? Yes, and apparently I have a snack in my hand, which seems off Accurate. brand for me. Mm. Um, okay. Give me a little reason to sit here. Now I got that in my head. It's so good. Which is better than if I could turn back time. <laughs> I can't Don't ever get that out of my head. Um... the one the other day I like to play that game at some point I made up this game where if you're ever staying over at a friend's house right before you go to bed right before you decide this is the last drink when we're going to bed mm -hmm. you think of as many earworm songs as you can and then see which one you wake up with in the morning and whoever oh, yeah. picks that song wins yep and you know you know which ones that i usually go to in, in this little game is things like the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. You mm -hmm. know that one? Oh, I do. What I about, do. Give me a break. Kick the cat. Yeah. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yeah. It's a great one. Oh, I watched a movie the other day. Johnny Bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. Also a good one. Uh, I, watched, watch? I watched the Banshees of Inverness. Good. Than that. Colin Farrell. Oh, I like him. And the fellow that was with him in, oh. in Bruges. Bruges. In Bruges. Yeah. Brendan Gleeson. 
Oh yeah, Gleesy. Oh Gleesy. Okay, what's happening next? We got Bia and uh, Hart and Shane Bia. are dancing, and Shane is having some snacks in his hand. Ooh. I. <laughs> You got you got you got me right on there. I am uh, interested in some snacks. What kind of snacks are at this party? That's what I want to know. <laughs> um. So, was this movie the Banshees of the In 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 the sure in, uh, Yeah. Was this a sequel or connected to In Bruges or just had Not that I could people? tell. No. Not that I could tell. Oh, hearts the snacks. I see. So hearts in your mouth? Uh, I'm just having some snacks. So oh, okay. Uh, who knows how. It's up to the eye of the beholder, I suppose. Mm-hmm. It's one thing I know about heart. They're a snack. A <laughs> snack, I tell you. Where's Doug? What's Doug doing? Oh, we haven't got the... Boa. No, we haven't. Yeah, the sabotage is throwing some confetti over Doug, but what's Doug doing? Live painting in the corner, maybe? Remember when you used to do all those live paintings, Doug? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That used to be fun. <laughs> right now! <laughs> Hundreds of the last one, I guess. Yeah, let's see his old <laughs> never. <laughs> All right, so what's happening after you two handsome dudes are dancing and having a snack? Is there a pole? Is there a pole there? No, you and you and Harte are intertwined. Oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> B is just watching, having chips. She's oh, like, Doug is actually good. singing karaoke. That's good. I like that. Sure. Uh, but what's yeah. uh, Panda doing? Oh, singing a duet with you. Oh, okay. Oh, Same I'm running. Microphone. I'm running out of space. I don't know where. Um, right here. Where? Right here. You're just a little behind. You. Or over here. I can't see where you're pointing. Sorry. Oh, you can't see this? No. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, so I have to be on something. So like the, the room's like this. So you're over here. Okay. So I'm further back. That's fine. Oh. Yeah. Also, don't take art direction from me. <laughs> That's ever going to be a wise thing. This is, look, this is how many, like, there's like... Eight people creating this artwork. It's pretty cool. From uh, Celebrity Net Worth. Where are you counting? Because you could have just looked at this number right here. You never know. It might be Betty. You never know. You're right. You never know. You know what would be really cool is if we could all get, get to a party together. That would be, be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. We could play Pictionary. Did you finish The Last of Us, Doug? Yeah, yeah, I did. What did you I liked think it. of it? 
Looks like there's going to be more. Yeah, they're just going to be... They're going to turn the second game into uh, two or more seasons, they said, which is good. But I haven't played the second game. And I got to tell you that having played the first game and watching the series was so good. Okay. Uh, it's also Secretariat's birthday. Who? The horse. Oh. Oh, you watched the second game playthrough. Oh. Um. Do you have somebody that you would recommend to... See, I, I kind of just... Maybe I'll just buy the game and play it. I might just do that. And uh, and then it's a, lot, it's a lot of time. Go ahead. And and is the last thing sabotage firing the confetti? Yeah, over you guys. Okay. But maybe from the other side of the room, just over everyone. With a gun. <laughs> confetti gun. Yeah, a confetti gun. Confetti. It looks so good, yeah. I want to play that game. I wish it was on PC. I don't mind playing it on the PlayStation, but... That would be a fun game to play together. With people. Maybe if it was on PC, I could stream it. But alas, here we are. It won't be out for PC. The first one's out now, yeah. I think on sale now or very soon. All right. I've got things kind of planned out here. How's this feeling? Oh. <laughs> you know what it looks like? Is a friggin' party. Good. <laughs> We're always hanging from the <laughs> All right, so I'll start hammering in. No, Bia, those ideas are great. Yeah, I love party. them. Yeah, it's exactly like a party. This is what we want. That's what this is. It's 100 episodes. Let's go. Shazam. This only will ever come around once. The next milestone is a thousand episodes. <laughs> is that a marker? Yeah. It's so big. Mm. So, Doug, the one thing that we didn't talk about before, because I wanted to wait until you saw it, is, <clears throat> you know, at the beginning of the last episode, when the uh, Ellie's mother was birthing her? Yeah, yeah. The lady that played the mother was the voice actor that played Ellie in the game. Oh, cool. And I thought that was really, really neat. And she's amazing. She's amazing. Voice actors and um, obviously. Yeah. Uh, was, re was really good in that too. Cool. That's a, that's a fun fact. Yeah. Super fun fact. I like, I like that they made like that like little connection too. Right? Like, they, they were very... Uh, aware Deliberate. of the yeah. game and how the game went like they paid close attention and were really honest and true to it and then to just like also throw that in there was really quite, quite neat yeah it's really smart oh you, you need oh Bia and uh, Lilu don't have their hats their party hats 
so. I'm not, I'm not done. Yeah, Doug's not done. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Now do you see how you and Harte are intertwined now? Yeah, much clearer. I'm the one standing up, right? Yeah, because you're having a snack. It's not good to be bent snack. over and eating. <laughs> it's so good. I also recognize myself. Oh, he loves his shoes. Oh, good. a party going on there what song is playing at this party Ooh. yeah what are we singing what are they singing and what are we dancing to i mean it's... what's happening Dancing on the ceiling. Oh. Dancing on the ceiling. What's happening? Not you. I was trying to get a disco ball, but. Don't like it? No, it's not. It doesn't have the. It have the transparent background. We need the oh, yeah. You gotta have that or you got nothing. You got nothing! <laughs> what do you get? Nothing! Oh, 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 you're dancing on the ceiling. Who's that by? Do you know Lionel. Who by? Yep, Lionel. Oh, Lionel Richie. And you, you remember, do you know what his first band was? Lionel Richie and the Commodores? Uh, I think it was just the Commodores, right? Oh, maybe. He was just a regular Commodore. He wasn't special. He wasn't special. No. No, well, that's fair. He wasn't special until later. Gotcha. Curious to know. Curious to know things. Um, if I should keep this grayscale or not. Ooh, that's tough. Tough call, eh? Yeah. I think I... One color? I think I will. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, says maybe pops of color. That's what I'm thinking, little Ange. That's what I'm thinking for sure. Pop of color. Yep. Little pop of color. For those that don't know, this is pop of color. This little boy gray. Yeah, something like that. I know what I like. I know where it's at. I'm glad you called for it to be loose beer. I'm feeling better about the looseness. I'm just entertaining myself over here. Don't worry about me. Well, I'm never worried about you. Much. 
Oh, so, uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Doug and I are going on a trip this weekend. Like soon. Yeah, we're going to go to Toronto, and we're going to hang out. See a good old hockey game. That's right. A good old hockey game. Do you like Stompin' Toms? How can you not like Stompin' Tom? I don't know. If you don't like noise. What? Do you think Stompin' Tom is just a bunch of noise? Yeah. He's literally stomping a piece of plywood. <laughs> right, but he's also going, Eyes the buys the builds the boat, and eyes the buys the sails her, eyes the buys the catches her fish and brings them home to Liza. Yeah, words that aren't real. Those aren't real words. <laughs> Catches the fish. What's an idiot he is? What is an idiot he is? <laughs> That's an Ashley McIsaac song. Buys the buys and he's a buys too. Yep, they're all the buys. All the buys. All the buys. <laughs> all the buys. He had some good... That's some old-school Canadiana right there. So oh, yeah, yeah. For those that don't know who Stompin' Tom is... Stompin' Tom Connors. Yeah, look up the song called The Good Old Hockey Game. Or, um... Bud the Spud. From the bright red mud. Rolling down the highway, smiling. That's where Sabotage is from. Look at all the balloons. My lords. You're going just wild. Look at you. You're like, you, maybe you should be an interior designer. Yeah, that sure does look like I should. Let's see why not. I've seen worse. Uh, <laughs> it's Bud the Spud from the bright red mud. You could work at Party Rolling City. Rolling down the highway, smiling. Maybe I'll put this down here. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Doug and Panda are singing uh, a duet by Linda Ronstadt and Aaron Neville. Oh, I know the I know the one. Don't know much, but I know I love you. And that may be. Are you waiting for me to finish? No. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Somebody. <laughs> well, Somebody. since no one else, since so, since no one else can say anything, I think it's. Somebody help me. To know. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's kind of like that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know much. It's a big finish. Yeah, it's a great finish. You know? It's almost like Barbara Streisand kind of finish. What was her big song by Barbear? Barbear Streisand. I like that um, Barbara Streisand song. It's a dance song. She has nothing to do with it other than her names in it, but. Um, it's a fun one. It's like what? What's it? How does it go? It's called Barbara Streisand. It's like. Barbara Streisand. That's it. Oh, interesting. Give it a go. Interesting. I I like this background color you're getting in here. It's metallic. Is it? Yeah, metallic ah, blue. Cool. Since we were talking about metallic so much, I thought, eh, this might be the one. I don't know that song. I absolutely don't know that song, Little Ange. Are you listening to it right now? No, I'm going to pull it up and listen to it. What's it called? Barbra Streisand? Barbra Streisand. 
Barbara. <laughs> yep. She be that. Oh, this isn't very good at all. Oh, I'm listening to Barbara Walters. <laughs> Get your wheel lifted at Barbara Walters. Um, who's it by? Because all I'm getting now is a list of Barbara Streisand's actual songs. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's like a dance song. Okay, dance song. I'll put <clears throat> duck sauce. Maybe. Sounds more like I'm going to a Michelin star restaurant, but yes, I'm here for it. Are they going a lot? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> it's by Duck Sauce. Oh, okay. video is just like random people in New York. Yep, that's correct. That's where she lives. On a downtown train. Okay, yeah, that's great. You don't like it, I can tell. No, it's good, it's good. I think <laughs> I would understand why people would dance to that. Once. I'm going to go back to listening to Bar Barbara Walters. So. Yeah. Her songs had soul. Like sands through the hourglass. Mm -hmm. These are 60 minutes. That's mm -hmm. how it goes, right? I think so. Or maybe she These was Dateline. These are the days of our lives. Was she a Dateline lady? <laughs> she was 60 minutes. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. And then she did uh, the Barbara Walters like, very specials? serious interviews with people. But some of those interviews, she's so mean. Yeah. She slept with a lot of the people she interviewed, apparently. Like, self-admittedly. What? Yeah, like, she slept with, like, um, uh, a lot of shakes and stuff when she was in the Middle East. A lot of uh, parliamentary fellas. Oh. Yeah. She's here for a good time, not a long time. I'm trying to see if she, like, where's, where's her wiki? <laughs> Who'd she sleep with? Who did she sleep with? Yes, yeah, so, uh, ABC, <laughs> she was with ABC, and then 60 Minutes, right? Am I going crazy with the 60 Minutes thing? I don't know. I wasn't a big fan. Twenty twenty. It wasn't. Like, it that, wasn't 16, that sounds it was better. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Hindsight. Who was sixty minutes? Who uh, Lloyd Bridges. I don't know. Lloyd something. No. Hold on. Let me just look up. I don't know or there, but... it's a it's an old man. An old There's a bunch man. of old men for sure. It's an old white man telling you what's Leslie about. Stahl was the lead. Morley Schaefer. Leslie Stahl, Dan Rather, Mike Wallace. That was. Oh, I remember Dan Rather. <laughs> Morley Schaefer, what a great name. It is a great name. And there's no H in it. It's oh. spelled Safer, but he says Schaefer. Yeah, I did not know that. Thanks for the education. You're, you're, you're correct. ABC 2020. That was the that was the big uh, that was the other magazine news show of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have a look. It's looking great. I'm loving the background. That's it's popping. It's popping more, eh? It's popping. Absolutely, it's popping.
Uh, her wiki doesn't say anything about the things that you say. About her. <laughs> <laughs> well, then go to the dark web. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't think. I don't even think I'm gonna search this not in an incognito mode. Okay. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> The background I was like, brings it to life? Yeah, it looks so good. I was just like, go get it, Barbara. Go get it. Yeah, I do wish we could listen to music on this too, show. Man. It's 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 an earworm. It's an earworm. It is an earworm for sure. Wonder where they got that idea. Mm. Probably watching this show. Yeah, just like that. Is party time here? Oh, party fifty on this thing. Oh, is this supposed to snow on in the... Oh, I see. It's supposed to combine the... I think what? it's because those are better Twitch TV emotes, not the regular emotes. I don't think you can combine the regular ones. Or the regular with the those ones. Look at this fella. Hmm. Man, does it ever feel like a party now with that background? Oh, good. It's crazy how, how much that changes things. Like, it felt like a party before, but now it feels like a party. You know what I mean? I think I do. You know what I mean, Vern? Oh, Vern. 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 Someone today sent uh, in a chat I was in, sent like a meme of Judge Judy, and I was like, God, I haven't think about that lady in a long time. Is she still alive? Yeah, I think so. No. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Judge Juby, don't make it sad. Really, really messing up your, the view here. No, that's another show. Speaking that's of different. view, do you... <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and it brings us right back to Barbara Walters. Yeah. Oh, Barbara she was in that. Goldberg. Yeah, and Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie wants to know how old do you think Judge Judy is? Seventy-eight. That's a pretty good guess. She's eighty. Huh? There you go. Yeah. American court show arbitrator. Mm -hmm. They don't even call her a judge. Maybe she's not. The court show arbitrator. Uh, well, let's see. Was she a judge? Legal career. Yep. 
by 1982. Mayor, New York Mayor Ed Koch appointed her as criminal court judge. Cool. Late, uh, four years later, she was promoted to supervising judge in the Families Court's Manhattan Division. Nice. She earned a reputation as a tough judge. But she made all her money on her show. Yeah. She made a ton of money. Like, so much. Like, shockingly. I remember when I found out how much she was worth, I was like, what? Doesn't even make sense. All right. We're going to do a, a tiny mini uh, Judge Judy here. Uh, put in chat what you think Judge Judy's worth in the millions. And I'll tell you the answer. Just like a little mini one of these. <laughs> That's all you got. Just a mini. Not a maxi. Dr. Phil is not a real. He's just a I don't know what he is. I think he's a big waste of skin, but I don't know. He's not good. No. You're you're definitely getting there. You're getting warm, Rowie. It's above twelve dollars. Yeah, Judge Judy. It is I I'm, I'm gonna agree with Doug, like it is Docking. Has on it like honestly, how much? Like uh, my initial reaction is like twelve million. No, and that seems high. I'm gonna say three hundred and twenty million. Rowie says three hundred. You say three twenty. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying twelve because I know the answer, but I'm just saying like. It does yeah, like she like just—it's it's all the syndication, I think, and stuff. Like she was in like every house in America. And they did like nine seasons? Hold on, let me look it up. No idea. This is like when you don't watch the show, it's kind of hard to like get a grasp of what's what. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so Judge Judy ran for 25 seasons. Holy shit. They had 6,280 episodes. So more than us. Uh, 6,180 episodes more than us. Damn, Judy. That's crazy. Yeah, I would have not known that. Now, so she just do like one. Does she do like three a day? Yeah, they must have done like a bunch. Oh, it's so sad. So the bailiff. Okay, this is gonna be. He was on all of the episodes. And I'll tell you right now, his net worth? Not as much as Judge Judy's. Oh, okay. <laughs> By, like, a lot. Uh, significant amount. <laughs> so, B is, B is, like, basically, Judge Judy has thrown down the chalice. We need to do 6,180 more episodes. Judy. It's up to us, right? You know, it's I think on so. us to do more. Yeah. Uh, okay, is nobody else going to guess? Just Rowie's 300 and Doug's 300 and something? I think I said 320, maybe? 320? Yeah, I think that's it. Judge Judy, network. What are we thinking? I just, I don't get how that's even possible. Okay, well, I'm going to break it to y'all. And here's how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> You're guessing Judge Judy's network. Wow. When the syndicated show was airing, Judge Judy worked 
52 days a year. 52 days out of 365. Nice. 150 million says Angry Panda. 300 says Rowie. 320 says Doug. <clears throat> When the syndicated show was airing, Judy worked 52 days a year, which translated into around $900,000 per workday. She made $47 million in the last couple of years for syndication. Oh. Wow. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Judge Judy made $147 million. So in one year, she made $147 million. Her net worth is $440 million. So like, yeah, I remember like thinking like she's like, like above Tom Cruise money. Like she's Clooney money. It's in, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. I, like I never would have guessed that. I never would have guessed that. Her bailiff, who was in every show, $3.5 million. That's a lot still, though. I mean, that's pretty great. That guy worked 6,280 episodes. She has $440 million, and he has three. It wasn't called Judge Bailiff. You're right. It wasn't called Petrie Hawkins Bird no. Bailiff of the Stars or anything. You're nope. right. It wasn't. And honestly... Uh, 3.5 million is nothing to chase. Yours is all about shaking. <laughs> you just shake that stick at, at a bunch of money. That's what, that's what it seems like. A you see, you find a 20 on the ground, shake a stick at it. <laughs> that's what Shane would do. Here, shake it, shake it, shake it. Like a shake Polaroid pitcher. <laughs> oh man, did this ever turn out great? So let's That's let's cool it is. soon let's go through like a checklist to make sure we get everything. You're, you're still missing party hats. Oh my god! Thank you. Does everyone have a party hat? No, just uh, Bia and Lilu have party hats. Okay. And I think Little Orange is also supposed to have a, a boa. Oh. But I don't know because uh, there is this mix mix between what angry panda was doing and you know so i don't i don't think so anymore, but i don't know leaving it up to bia bia is the she's running the show she's running the show i'm just the uh you're just the help i'm just the help I'm just here to help um does little ange have a boa or no i like how you just so quickly put those party hats off <laughs> <laughs> Boop party hats Yes, Ange needs a boa too. All right. Where are you gonna put it? <laughs> she's, up, she's upside down. Yeah. Well, there it goes. <laughs> choking her out. <laughs> you just like chucked it on there so quick. I love it. Now that's a party. Look at that. Dancing on the ceiling. It is pretty pretty active party. Yeah, so it's a red top. Pew pew. Cool. Can we see that a little bit closer? Absolutely. Uh, it turned out so great. I love the metallic back. So we got Lelu and Bia and Sabotage firing the confetti gun. We got Rowie shirtless on the ceiling. We've got Shane and Harte intertwined with Shane having a little snack there. And we got Little Ange in the foreground. Doing her cartwheel of love. 
And then Panda and I in the background doing a little karaoke duet of Linda Ronstadt and Aaron Neville. Awesome. Amazing. Party time. Party time. Thank you so much for coming to our 100th episode. Ooh. And thank you, Doug, for producing so much art and being here for everybody. 100 times over. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So thanks. Thank you for, for showing up every week. And thanks, everyone out in chat land for showing up as much as you possibly can. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going away this weekend to celebrate yep. our hundredth episode. Uh, yeah, that's back. really great timing. It's, it's great timing. We'll be back next week. Yes. Sure. Well, yeah, as far as I know. Well, thanks everybody. Have a great yes. night. Take care. Bye. Happy century.